How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf, and uh, today I've actually got a pretty important uh, sort of bug glitch fix thing that a uh, viewer kindly told me, and uh, it's changed a hell of a lot. Uh, removing the roof racks, for those of you that ain't got time to watch the whole video, uh, remove your roof racks on the scout vehicles and it'll give you a hell of a lot better speed and just characteristics of the truck. Like basically this is what I've been saying for weeks, like oh the Hummer's crap, there's a few vehicles, it's like these are terrible. Well, you're about to see why they were terrible, because I had roof racks on. There's basically something the guy was telling me, like the fuel weight is broken in this game. Funnily enough, I even tested it with this, which is just a repair kit and a spare tyre in the back. And yeah, there's no problems, it's every time, it's anything that has fuel on it. So this baby roof rack, to be fair, the baby roof rack's better than the big roof rack, because that's got four, the little one's got two. But it's like each jerry can is the weight of 25 odd jerry cans. So by the time you've got four on, it's like carrying 100, and it's it's acting as if like you've got a big fat trailer, uh, yeah, a trailer or like an add-on like you'd get on a Tager or something. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'll get into it and I'll show you basically the difference. And there's a couple of things that obviously there's the speed of it. There's also with some of them it changes like uh, the. I'd say the handling basically, like some of them were better going over snow when I removed the roof rack and all sorts, but the main difference is, as I'll show you, I even tried, I won't do this with everyone, I'm just going to do with and without, but as this is the first vehicle, this has now got the big roof rack and the uh, tyres and the repair kit, and look at it, it goes so slow it dribbles off the cliff, it even clips the rocks on its way down, that's what I've been putting up with this, and I was like, this is shit. But, yeah, now I've removed the kit out the back, but as you can see, exactly the same result, basically. Still just hits that next rock on its way down. This is now the small fuel thing, and it is a bit better. I don't hit that rock. I managed to get a land, basically, next to them trees. So the small rack is better. This is now with just the uh, stuff in the back, as you can see. I did get a bit further, I think I've killed them trees with the trucks, but I did actually make it into the water this time. And then now, with absolutely nothing on it... So the argument could be made that that repair kit and tyre does make a tiny bit of difference, but it's within top light what you'd expect. Whereas the roof racks just absolutely kill it. Like, this is the uh, Yar 87, and again it's got the roof rack. This is why I thought, oh, the Yar's not too bad, because it at least goes a reasonable speed with the roof rack on. You'll also see as this is going through why this might catch so many of you out and why it caught me out. And it's basically because one of the trucks doesn't really have this happen to it and it's what you most likely will experience at the start. So this, like, look at it, without the thing I've made it past the trailer. The first jump, I'm so deep now I'm not even like touching the floor, I'm floating, whereas the first jump was still decent but I only just made it to the water. <laughs> Let's get onto this bloody thing, the Hummer. This is why I've been saying, oh my god, this is crap. Like, why would I go this speed when I can just get in a Tager and go flying? Can't even do a little jump. It hits that. There is another issue with this that I, there's still, you'll see. But it's definitely, something's not right with it. <laughs> but this is without a roof rack. And look at it. I could live with this. This is fine. But you're about to see, like, this is a bit of a separate issue with the Hummer. It does this quite a lot. <laughs> it's done this to me before. I've had to buy three Hummers to make this video. I could just recover it, by the way. Look, like, wavy ties in the air like you just don't care, and that's it. It belongs to the cliffs now. Yeah, I could just recover it to the garage, but I'll leave it in there. So you see what it does. <laughs> that's what she said. Um, yeah. Oh, anyway, tried to uh, pull it out quickly with a Tager. It went mad and yanked. I thought for a second, I was like, oh, don't you pull my fucking Tager into the cliff. That was my lowered Tager as well. Now I've got to drive that bloody thing out. So I thought, right, I'll beat you. I'll get the biggest, fattest, heaviest thing I've got. Fly it off the cliff and attach the winch as I go off. And I'll rip it out the cliff. Well, yeah. That's what happened with that. Hummer wants to stay. Look at it. It's like, fuck you, twin steer. This is mine now. Belong to the cliffs. That was a cockpit view. I'm now in the back of the Hummer. So just one more quick try, just in case. But as you can see, like if it's stopping that absolutely dead, then it's in. And it ain't coming out. 
One nice thing I did notice is the uh, control panel for the seats on the passenger seat is actually there, which, see, it's just the nice little touches that this game does. Like, there's no reason anyone would get to see that under normal circumstances, but I did, and it helped. <laughs> so anyway, this is the Khan with a roof rack. Again, this is, like, reasonably fast with the roof rack on, but as you'll see, it's even better when it's off. So again, we made it sort of just into the water. Tiny little glitch there, but look at it. Like, past the trailer. That's even a tiny bit better than the R, I reckon, but way further in this little I love this little beast for other reasons but I certainly don't didn't like its speed it ain't gonna get much better with the roof rack off but look at it it's like a nut it's like a Russian uh, Volkswagen camper van you wouldn't expect this thing to start going 90 I mean look at it this is why I like this thing it just never ever stops absolute horse of a vehicle and it'll only be very quick but it even gets drags a twin steer off the cliff and then I had to wedge it behind the Tager but that Tager's out of fuel when the Hummer flicked it off because it damaged the fuel tank. So I wouldn't be able to winch this over with the Tager because the engine wouldn't start. See? Absolute little horse of a vehicle. Gotta get yourself one of these. A loaf. Best thing since sliced bread. And now though, look at it with the uh, roof rack off. It's not a Ferrari, but it's better than it was. Clean fly. So you just can't kill this thing. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> like a Terminator. Uh, this, this is why I just left a bit of extra footage in for this, because this is the one that doesn't really, it's so negligible, it, there's no real difference with a roof rack, and again this is why it helped me just completely miss this glitch, because this is the first scout vehicle I found, other than obviously I had the CK thing, um, and I would have probably drove this without the roof rack, because I couldn't have afforded it or I hadn't unlocked it by that point, but then by the time I've unlocked it, they're not silly money, so I tend to just stick them on every scout vehicle I get. So all the other scout vehicles, I just wouldn't know what it was like without a roof rack. And I never thought it would make that much difference. So as you can see there, like, you can argue it was a little bit further. But it might have just been the angle like, I landed on. But I essentially, both times, land just... I just miss both of them trucks. So, yeah, this one actually doesn't matter. And the reason why that's pretty important is because now, for a lot of you, especially if you're early in-game where it will make a difference. Um, this now, for me, has gone right up my rankings of Scout Vehicle because it can handle a roof rack, which is what I'd want during like, the gameplay, particularly near the start. So, yeah, if I ever have another playthrough, this is what I'll use because it can handle the roof rack, whereas all the other stuff obviously can't stand it. I'll still use them for some things, but the fact that that can have a roof rack now puts it right up the list for me. This, to be fair, it's not one of the worst affected but I still think it is a bit. I basically land, there is a bit of water there, but you can see where like the rocks are on the shore that are still sticking just about out of the water. I basically land there and then without a roof rack. See, little things, I would say on the runway, a couple of things were a little bit more drifty without the roof rack. But again, I flew further into the water, like I'm, on normal roads, like the runway is just a massive sheet of ice, basically. I mean, look at this thing. Again, it's just another one. It can't even get off the cliff. I apologise, there was a little glitch there, but we could see it just hit them rocks and then it fell down. This is now without the roof rack. <laughs> it smokes a lot for a little uh, little car, which is a beast. And yeah, now look at it. And funnily enough, I uh, had the roof rack off this for this uh, Top Gear truck darts thing, so that's why usually I was pretty quick in that and I liked it more. This one, I just tested quickly, this is the big repair thing on the back of the Lodestar, 400 repair points but no fuel. And it flies pretty damn nicely. I land about level with that trailer. This is now fuel and tyres. And, just, you know, see what you guys think. You could argue it might have been a tiny bit less, but again, if it was, that's cool. That's with intolerance, that makes sense. You've added a tiny bit of weight. This thing tells you it increases or decreases the power to weight, but this should weigh about 50 to 100 jerry cans because it's an entire solid metal crane, and I'd say I land a bit less, like I wasn't quite as quick. And then now with the uh, with just nothing attached, I would say if I'd landed like back first, I would have skidded forward a bit because it just nosedived and stopped dead. I would say that's about the same. 
This thing, I'll only show you quickly, but don't worry about it with this. It's so bloody slow anyway, but... Uh, don't get me wrong, I really like this, but I don't drive it a lot, because I can't handle going everywhere this fast, or slow. <laughs> but yeah, re a roof rack or not, this thing just dribbles off the cliff, and that's... It is what it is. The only thing, it did tip there, but then to its credit... It's like one of them, uh, I don't know, what were they called? Weeble wobble things or something when I was a kid. They just never never tip over. I don't know what the fuck the saying was. <laughs> anyway, I'll just quick another try with the uh, try and yank the Hummer out of the cliff. And the Hummer starts reeling me in. I was like, shit. <laughs> quick. I was trying to repair it. That's what I wanted to do. I was like, quick, repair. Repair and release. Because it's one thing nicking my Hummer, but you ain't nicking my fucking 120 grand days off. You ain't dragging that into the cliff. But anyway, you need to try this, definitely, because... Well, I'll show you. This is how much fun I've been having with it. What a song. What a film. What an actor. Rest in peace, Patrick Swayze. What a tip. Thanks to Coca-Cola. Yeah, I ran out of uh, music, not footage, as you can see. I'll, uh, I'll leave it just about there. But there's, a, there's another problem we need to discuss. Obviously, of course, horse of a vehicle. Get yourself a loaf. Can't go wrong. Uh, yeah, this. Like I said, this video has cost me <laughs> two Hummers. See, there's a little twitch there, and it was like, mm, it wasn't sure. So I thought, okay, I'll try it one more time. As you'll see, there's definitely just something not right with this. For whatever reason, see, I was like, oh no, not another one in the cliff. But to be honest, I actually recovered it this time, and thought, alright, I'll give it one more go when I don't smash into the post. And, uh, well, yeah. That's what I mean, there's just something not quite right. I don't know, maybe one of the tyres are slightly overinflated, but... I was in the cliff, but it's like, let me out! And then it just unprovoked attack on a fish. And yeah, to be honest, I was eating my dinner while this was happening. <laughs> so I let this go for a bloody long time. Like, I had it out a hell of a lot of it. But as you can see, another fish. Yeah, it's, uh... It's a bit glitchy. To be fair, I just left this bit in. Another fish. Um, present glitch aside, the frame rate and everything's going pretty nicely, considering how much map is swinging violently. Buries itself at like a little zombie hummer. It's like, no. It wants out. And to be fair, if I hadn't actually uh, scouted this map so far, as you can see, look, I probably could have got that watchtower. It feels quick. But then anyway, if you keep an eye on the bottom left, this is what I thought was pretty interesting as well, was uh, it repairs itself, and I worked out how, you know, like the service areas in some, uh, like, I don't know what they're called, but they've got service areas where you can just drive in and repair your truck. I must have flew directly over the service area, so it repaired me in the air, and then this is only going to go on for a few more seconds. I finally get halfway to the moon, and it just locks itself where it is. So, yeah, I mean, that's the main right of it, is it? Oh, out of fuel? Oh, that must be the problem, then. Yeah, dear insurance company. What happened was... I was not driving at the time of the incident, officer. So, yeah, there's a, like I say, that's now the second Hummer. <laughs> I could, again, I could recover it, but I'm more stubborn than it is. I bet you I can ignore it longer than it can stay up there. It was just a little look of the map. <laughs> you don't often get to look at the map, so... Uh, cockpit view, not as in the cockpit as I originally thought. So yeah, jump in your Hummer off the uh, runway a little bit, look at it. Yeah, the drive's out this time, credit where it's due, he held on to the steering wheel pretty damn well. And he's scratching his head now, like, yeah mate. That's what I was thinking when I'm like 80 grand's worth of Hummers down. <laughs> so, go and buy another Hummer. Do it all up. It's got the 6.2 litre raised suspension, tyres, blah blah blah. I just wanted to show you one last little thing along here that's without jumping it or whatever. This is roof rack. Fully upgraded Hummer, but it's got a roof rack. I'm in top gear now. Even when it goes into 6, it's almost slower because it doesn't like, it can't even handle pulling you along. You could hear it there, in fact, just go into 6. Like, this is what I've been dealing with for weeks, and this is why I thought, when people were saying, oh, it's great, I was thinking, like, not to be harsh, but I just thought, oh, maybe they've not driven that many things, and it's, maybe it's not bad compared to, like, the CK with a roof rack. 
This is it, without a roof rack, identical Hummer. This, I would enjoy, I would have enjoyed <laughs> the Hummer these past few weeks if it handled like this. Nice how it doesn't tip there. Like, yeah, very good. So, uh, I, I suppose, really, I take back everything I've said so far about the Scouts and uh, leave it with me and I'll give them another go. But my experience of them, because I had roof racks on everything, this, I've just put it in high and it was uh, that was how slow it was, really, with a roof rack and then this is how fast it is without. By the way, someone said the other day, the CK1500, in real life, it's either called the C1500 or the K1500. The C is a two-wheel drive, the K is a four-wheel drive. Like, um, yeah, obviously they've probably put CK because you can alter it in here, but I just thought I'd mention it. I respect it. If someone said an E30 slash E34, I'd be like, well, it's not though, is it? It's an E30 or an E34. So yeah, I get it. <laughs> Here's my little uh, thumbnail I was just doing quickly. And then, oh, just one last thing, I wanted to try and actually look at the Hummer. I was trying to do a wheelie to spot it, but I couldn't get it from that view. <laughs> you can actually see it there. Most of you probably won't spot it there, but don't worry. You will now. I'm going to prop myself up on the back of this so I can look for a bit longer. There she is, just below the sun visor on the left-hand side of where it attaches to the roof. Like, no wonder Americans love going to the moon. It's this easy. That's why Elon Musk has sent a Tesla, even Hummer, even when they're not trying. Look at it. It's a beautiful car. So yeah, already I've enjoyed the Hummer a lot more, like obviously the glitch is a bit odd, but this has never happened to me with any other vehicle on any other thing, it's just the Hummer jumping off that cliff, for some reason it really doesn't like it. Yeah, I, I think it's moved a bit, the wheels weren't pointing the other way earlier. <laughs> There's me, you can see me little white pickup in the garage, that's what I was eyeballing it with. So uh, yeah, like that's about it really, I'll show you quickly the uh, other Hummer, but yeah, that's it, I, I remove your roof racks. Like, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. Like this Hummer, I would have had to put an epileptic warning if I used some of the footage, so I'd have stuck with this. But yeah, as you can see, I'm at one with the moles.